Good afternoon and welcome to LEO Moon Arts. My name's Fiona. I'm grateful to see you all here. And today, as promised, Couture Creations gave me this apron. And it's got this like a vinyl um, thing on the front of it. So I'm actually going to alcohol ink onto the front of this. I've drawn a turtle on here and I'm going to have a go at um, painting it. And let's see how we go. I suppose that's all we can do. I'm going to pick a selection of colours and I'll tell you what they are as I use them. Because um, I've got to try and not move <laughs> my piece of artwork because I'm finding that I'm struggling with, um, with the camera a little bit because I like to move my artwork around as I paint. So I've got a selection of brushes. Um, yeah, I suppose let's get into it. Let's paint this turtle. Now, what a colour. I'm going to start off, I'm going to start off by putting the water in first and I'm going to use, did I not get it out? I was going to use some ocean, which I'm sure we have here. Hang on for two seconds. Let's grab it out. Caribbean, ocean. So we'll use the ocean. Okay, so I'm going to put some ink down on my mat. I'm just probably, it might be just out of your view. I'm going to take a small brush. I'm actually going to put some blending solution into this one because I'm painting on something I'm a bit unsure of. I'm not sure how it's going to stick. I'm not even sure how this is going to go with this mainly because I've never painted on anything like this before. So this is a first for me. So I've just taken a pen because I wasn't sure about drawing on here with um, with pencil either. So I'm just putting a coating of this uh, blending solution on where I'm going to do the first lot of painting. So I'm just going to grab some um, ocean, uh, yeah, ocean and I'm just going to start dropping it in. Let's see how that goes. Now I want it quite dark up underneath the, the turtle and I want to lighten it up as it comes away from the turtle. So I'm just going to add more blending solution, start to dilute that down a bit. It's a little bit like watercolour painting on this in some respects. So I'm letting the blending solution, I'm going to pick a slightly, so if this is a little darker, I've got some cerulean here and I'm just going to add that into these parts just here. This one a little bit, just wanting to make sure that that's really dark right underneath my turtle, right along that baseline and then I'm just going to Rinse out my brush, wipe it off, and just I might not wipe it off, I might just add some more. I'll just try and get that to bleed down um, to the rest of it. So, my darkest colour will be directly underneath my turtle. So, let's start this bit. So, it's a bit more, let's see how that goes. It's getting lighter as it comes away from him. Okay. It's looking okay. Okay, so again, I want to have the darkest part come up into this triangle bit underneath my turtle. Oops, it's not going to matter too much that that bit's dropped. Let's pick it up. And I'm going to bring this underneath his flipper here. So this flipper here will get a little bit more light. But just up here at the very top, um, where the two fin the two flippers meet together, I want to make it a little darker. So I'm just going to use a bit of that cerulean. I'm just going to drop that in there. Add some more alcohol and blend that out. Add just a little bit more down along here a little bit. 
Okay. So here we go. It's coming along nicely at the moment. We're probably going to have to do this in a few little sections so that um, we get this to dry. So I'm going to start putting in some. So we're going to have a little dark piece in underneath his chin there. So just going to put a bit of serene in there. Let this do its work. And we'll just keep bringing this around. So I'm just using diluted ink in my um, blending solution on this. I'll add a little bit more of the um, ocean in here now. It's his fifth one, just going a little bit and do that. Just flip that out. We don't want that in there. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more alcohol. Oh, sorry, blending solution into that. I'm going to lighten up some of this ocean and start bringing it in round on the top of him. And I'll add the blending solution at the same time just so that we're getting a really light coverage because we want him to be want this top part to be light because he's out in the out in the ocean and it's he's swimming up near the top in this picture okay okay And a little bit of shadow that's right close to him a little bit of alcohol a uh, blending solution just to blend that out just so it seats him nice in the water okay so now I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry um, I'm actually going to grab my um, my curling dryer that I use, the Videl Sassoon one, and I won't talk while this is happening. And I'm going to dry this off, and then we'll come back and we'll start painting our turtle. So just give me a few seconds while I um, just dry this off. Okay, I'm back again after that. I'm just noticing as this is dried, I've got it's a bit streaky down here, so I'm wanting to use a little bit more blending solution. And I'm just going to blend this a little bit more. And then I'll dry it off again and see if I like it any better. Okay, I'm a little happier with how that looks now. This part here needs a little bit more coming in close to his thing. His flipper, I should say. 
Okay. Just going to grab that dryer and dry that off again. Now I am drying this using um, the hotter um, option on my dryer because I'm hoping that by using the heat it might help to heat set this. I've never painted on anything like this before, so this is all new to me. I don't know of anybody else who has. I'd be very interested to hear um, how they set it if they done it on something like this. So here we go. I'm just going to stop talking and we're going to dry this off. Okay, now we're going to start on the very top of our turtle. So I'm going to use lemonade and I think some amber or maybe some honey. May even add in a little bit of green, maybe a bit of blue. Um, just see how I feel as I go along. So I'm going to use lemonade to start off with. I'm just going to drop some down on my mat. I'm going to add some blending solution to my cup again. And I don't mind if this turns a little bit green. Um, I'm quite happy for that to happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this one yellow because it, this one will get the, a lot of the sunshine on it. And I'm trying not to... Um, I want to leave some white spaces so I don't mind making these a little bigger than what they are. And then I might grab a little bit of this honey. It's almost like a bit of a buttery scotch kind of colour. And I'm just going to drop some of that in around the edges. And just see how that, just to darken that up a little bit. Let's see how that dries. I can add some more into that later on if um, I feel like it needs more. I will now move on and I'll start doing all of these other ones. So I may be a little bit quiet. I can't talk and paint at the same time. I get a little bit um, flustered by that. So I'm just going to add some of the, the brown this time, like this honey colour, around the outside of this one because this one's sort of sitting on the side of the... The turtle. I'm just going to bring it around and see some of it I drew in pen and then I decided I'd go back to using my watercolour pencil on here and just trying it out as well just to see what was going to work. So I've just added the honey in there and now I'm going to get that lemonade which I think has also had a name change. I think they Couture Creations now call this, oh please don't quote me, I think it's called Pear. Um, now so I'm just wanting to blend those colors a little bit together so I'm just going to put some blending solution on my brush and I'm just going to dab in a little bit of blending solution and let them do what they want to do together okay there we go. so now I'll start on my next one so some more honey again this one sort of comes around the side of the turtle you might need to Make some of these spots a little, a little wider so that you don't have too much showing in between. Some more honey. I don't want those um, white bits to be too white and I don't want them to be too big or too wide. So I'm just going to throw a heap of honey in this one. This is sort of coming down the back of the turtle and you're sort of getting a little bit further away from the sun. But in this very top section, I do want to have some of that, that lemonade or pear, I think it's called now. So I'll drop some more in. So I'm just going to drop some in here. And have it getting darker, is it? So I'm going to leave this lemonade part up the top. And I'm just wanting it to be 
dark off the bottom of the shell. I may even have to go in and use a different um, brown rather than this honey one. It may not be dark enough by the time I've finished. So I'm just adding some uh, blending solution to blend that all in. And I'll continue on now and do the rest of these. So I'm going to do the same with these ones. Because these ones are lower down, I want the darker on the bottom and just a slightly lighter on the top. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to use some amber. I'm going to use a little bit of espresso um, mixed in with the honey this time just to give it a slightly darker shade. A little bit more honey in that. Didn't go too dark. Okay, that's better. Yep, that'll work. So I'm just gonna give these all a bit of shadow in the bottom part of them as we go around. Might make some of them a little bigger. I might have to lift some of this off. Some of that's gone a bit wild over there. Um, It'll be interesting to see if I can lift off on this substrate. It's the first time I've used this one, so it's been fun there. I actually used this turtle from uh, Sarah Cray. I think she used it for watercolour and I actually did the watercolour one of it as well. Uh, Let's Make Art, I think is the name of it. She's, she's a YouTube channel on here as well. Um, and that's where I've used this um, template from, is from her, from her turtle. I just thought it might be a nice easy one to try and put onto here and use. Okay. Just blending this down a little bit, just making it a little lighter in a few spots. Okay. Just gonna have to lift out, just see this bit here, I just need to lift that out. Oh, yeah, that's going to lift off there nicely. Just to create a bit of a white line in between those two bits of tortoise shell. So now I'm going to come in with a bit of the, uh, what's this one? Amber. Oops. So if I want that off, just drop that on there. Just going to pick that up and might have to put some more over the top of that. So I wipe that off. So I'm just dipping into the blending solution and I'm just trying to lift it off and I'm wiping it on the, on a mat. Okay. So now we're going to blend this one a little bit more. A little less blending solution to be helpful. So I'm just blending out the shape of this. I'm going to add a little bit of sunshine. Oh, I'm sorry, not sunshine yellow, amber into this. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just going to get some blending solution now and I'm just going to sort of blend out the edges of this so that we don't have such a stark white contrast. I'm just using a bit of the colour that's already there. So we still have a lighter area in between each piece of the tortoise shell but it won't be so glaringly white anymore. I'm going to add a little bit more darkness into this side here. So I'm just using a bit of that mix of the, I think it was lemonade or, and the espresso just to darken up the bottom of this one a bit. I'll add a little bit of colour. And I'll just go in and start blending that around. Get in there a little bit better. Coming round. So I'm thinking I'm going to add a little bit of, um, maybe a little bit of green to some of this yellow and see if I can sort of turn it down a little bit, a little too bright. Just mixing it with a little bit of um, espresso that I had there and a little bit of the yellow just to give it a slightly different colour effect. I like that better. Now I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Get some more of that colour. Let's darken up some of these bits. That's better. Get some blending solution. much better. Do the same on this one, add some, some of this sort of greeny colour around here. I'm just going to blend that in. Just going to define this line between these two a little better. Add a little bit more of that greeny colour. I just wanted to find this line here a little better. Okay. It's coming along nicely now. Okay. So in this section here, I want to actually put a, a darker line on this, this section here and on the bottom, and then I want to blend it to a lighter colour in between the two. So this this bit, here, this bit here is where the shell, the top shell and the bottom shell sort of join and then underneath here I'll do it just in a, in a light colour. Okay, so I'm going to use some of that brownie green that we were using. I'm just going to... Find the edge of that shell a bit. Can add a little bit more brown in it when I go down to this bottom section down here. 
mainly because this is I'm just going to blend that so I don't want it glaringly white but I do want it to be lighter than than the two pieces in between it okay now we're going to do a different colour underneath here. I might even add a little bit more green into this bit. Solution. So I'm just going to finish off this bit and then I'm going to dry it before we go any further. Okay, here we go. I just want to dry this off and see if there's anything else I'd like to add to this. Okay, so I'm looking at this one here and to me it looks like it needs to be blended a little more so the contrast is not quite as stark. You still want a definite um, colour change. So I'm just wanting to soften that off a little bit and all I'm doing is adding a bit of, um, a bit of the blending solution and just softening that off. And hopefully that'll make it sit a bit more better, a bit better on, on, on there. Okay, I think that looks a bit better. Okay. So next I'm going to going to do a wash of colours over these um, legs. Now I've got this part here where I've got this little bit here and this little bit here. They're going to be much darker than the rest of it. These are the shadows, so this is the car shadow from the turtle's head and this flipper and this is the car shadow from where his shell comes over. So I'm just going to do a bit of this green colour and I'm going to do a bit of a wash over the top of him. So that gives us a base to work with and then I can decide on how much darker I need to make him in those spots that need the shadow. That's the first one. Then I'll do a wash over this one. Just put it all around here. And blend that out with just blending solution until I'm happy with how it looks. A bit of that blue. So you've got to be a little bit careful when you get close to the edge that you don't um, blend it with your blue that you've got there. I'm quite happy with that apart from where it needs to be darker. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this greeny bluey brown that we were working with before and I'm just going to bring it in in those spots that I want it to be quite dark and then I'm going to blend that out a little bit just with some blending solution. So that's do that a little darker and that just have to make up a bit more. So that was with the espresso. I think I had a little bit of limeade in it and a little bit of amber or honey. Oh, no, I think I'll add, I think I might add a little bit of botanical to this. Let's we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, that's a bit brighter. Let's see how we go. A little more brown in that, a bit more of the espresso in that. Let's see. That's better. That's a much darker colour. That's better. We'll do some in this bit here. So now I'm just going to grab my blending solution and I'm just going to tap in some to blend that out a little bit. And some around this one as well, just to blend that, that shadow. Okay. I'm going to just do this back flipper at the same time. So I'm going to add some of that darker colour on the, that little bit of black back flipper that you can see. And then I'm just going to lift a little bit of it out so it gets a bit of shadow close to the close to where the shell joins. Now it's a bit lighter and it comes away from there. There we go. Might do his head while we're here as well. I'm going to do this same colour, maybe a little bit more green in it this time so that it's a little brighter and maybe a little bit more yellow just to lighten the colour up a little bit. So we're going to do these markings on his face. One over here, some little dark ones. Okay, so I also want to use a bit of this to do his mouth, and I want that dark shadow to come underneath here, underneath his chin. I want this really dark underneath here too. Okay, okay so I'm just going to dry him off. So I'm going to need some more blending solution. I'll do that after I've just dried this one off. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a little bit of the amber and I want to mix it with this colour but I also want it to be quite light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this over his face. So I'm just going to create the colour first that I want. It's a lighter colour than what we've been using. So I just want this to wash over his face. And this piece in here probably needs to be darker. This is where the his, this is where the back of his neck is. Okay, I'll just make that a little bit darker. That's better. And some of this more yellowy colour. Bring it in around his face. I'm just going to get some blending solution and blend this around now. And the blending solution by blending it around the the turtle will actually help to add, make it look like it's less drawn in. So I'm going to have to find, I don't normally use black, I normally just create my own, but I need a black um, to do his eye. 
but I just need him to dry off a little bit first. I'm going to use a little bit of that darker greeny browny colour. I'm just going to define his mouth a little more. There we go. A bit more blending solution and just blend that a little better. need to blend this in a little bit. So it just blends out. More that dark in this part here. So I want some more dark in this bottom section. And there we go. Okay, we're nearly done. Give me two seconds. I'll just go and find my black and start putting in his eye. And we might use it also to define a few spots on him. black. I'm just going to put a little drop of it because that's all I'm going to need. I'm going to find my smallest brush. I think it's this one. I'm going to dip into my colour. I'm going to grab my black and I'm just going to blacken that eye. Now I'm not worried about putting any white in his eye just yet. I also want to Give him an eyelid with that black. So I'm just going to put that eyelid in there. I'm just going to clean that out. And then with this amber colour that I've got here, I'm um, just going to add a little bit more blending solution. Where that black, just underneath that black, I'm going to give him a few more spots. Because on the top of their eyes, it's like a little hood. And a few more spots on his face as well and that should help to seed his eye into the into there a little better too okay Grab a little bit of that, put that amber, and I might want to put a little bit of that in through some of these top pieces. Quite liking the look of that when I see it in there, in this other one, just to give it a little bit more light. Just warms it up a little bit. I like that colour a lot. Looks pretty good. Okay, nearly done. So I'm going to grab any, any, one of Which one's going to work for me today? <laughs> So I've got a Uniball Signo Broad. 
the number on it is pigment ink UM-153 white. So I'm just going to dry this off properly and then I'm going to attempt to put the white of his eye in. Just let that naturally dry a little bit while I just fix up this area here where we uh, where I dropped some of the ink before with my brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the ocean and I'm going to add a little bit of blending solution. And we're going to have a try just blending this out. It might look make it look a little bit greeny, but it won't be too bad. Oh, I can add a little bit more of that along there, seeing as that's going to be a little bit greeny and I won't hurt it too much. So another thing I would like to do with this is I'm going to come in with this blacky colour, but I'm going to add some of that green that we've had, that we've been using to it, because I'm wanting to make quite a dark colour. And what I want to do is I'm going to do some little shapes on this so on this fin, we're only going to see, so on this fin, we're going to, on this flipper, we're going to see lots. So we're just going to make some little marks all over his flipper. Excuse me for one moment. I just need to stop this and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, when we do this flipper, I'm going to only put a few little dots on this edge of his flipper here and some down in this darker bit down here. I may not even put any in that darker bit yet because um, I think it might be dark enough. Um, that is because this one, this flipper's turning. It's turning away from us, so we're only going to see this very top edge. This one here, because we're seeing the full front of it, we'll need to cover the whole um, lot of it with our spots. Just hope I've got enough here. Okay, so let's get spot making. I'm trying to make these spots rather random so I'm not doing them in any sort of order although our brain does tend to um, do that for us sometimes it's just the way our brains tend to work but I am trying to put these in rather randomly might need to make a little bit more of that dark so bit of brown bit of honey this time a little bit of cerulean Give it a mix and see what we get. Got that midnight still here. I'm going to just add a little bit of midnight into this. Okay. So we have a very dark green now. Oh, that's better. It's a nice colour. Let's add some of these in over here. Down here, yes. this is a great dark actually. I really quite like this. There's a few of them in there, throw a few more of them on here. I actually did this as a watercolour uh, uh, watching one of Sarah Cray's from Let's Make Art 
um, tutorial uh, a couple of years ago or 12 18 months ago um, I really quite like her I she's a bit of a funny bugger <laughs> I love her sense of humor and she's always so positive it's really lovely to watch okay so here we go there we've got our our front and our the two front flippers done and I'm just going to put a few of these spots also just on this back flipper just a few markings on him there we go so now all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab some colors that I've used and um, I might use some of this green to do a green one I'm just going to fill this one in a green splotch I might do it all in this color actually I've got quite a lot of it there. add a little bit more cerulean to this and try and make some of this a little bit bluer and the green color spots and we'll have the more bluer letters I actually quite like this colour we're putting on the um, letters on this. Now, by using the blending solution, I'm hoping that it will help it all to adhere to this um, vinyl sort of um, background that I'm painting on. I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out and how much what the longevity will be like. But I did say I would have a go. And over time, when I do end up washing this, I will let you know. Um, if it stayed or if I if I lost the whole thing once I've done this I, the eye should be totally dry then and then I'll actually put the white of the eye in on our little turtle
when I um, painted this turtle that I got the outline from, from Sarah Cray, I done it in watercolour. My One of my grandsons, Jordan, um, his nickname from when he was a child is, well, from when he was really little, was the turtle. He used to quite often pinch my clothes baskets when he was when he was really little and he'd put them on his back and start crawling around the house with them on so that's how he got the nickname so I painted this for him um, and he's got it in his bedroom now I've still got to do one for my other grandson he um, his nickname is the monkey so I've got to do a monkey next not so sure on how that's going to go, but I'm just going to grab a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, wash out my brush. Wash out this brush too. Okay, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed this. Oh no, hold on a minute. I better put his eye in. Let's put that on. So I'm just going to put a bit of white. His eye. Now he looks like he's alive again. That'll actually fade a little bit and take on a little bit of that dark colour so it won't look so stark when it's... There we go. Okay, there's our turtle. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, that's about all. Subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind. That would be wonderful. Um, like and share. Share this tutorial. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Bye.